This is the house that camera I built. Time to get started. Hey there, welcome to the house camera I built. Time camera I today. Ugh, it's been a little week. I've been doing it the past couple weeks, but because it happens on a Sunday, it's very awkward to try to remember it on a Friday. So Sundays, I've been going out to uh, Gainesville Gaming. A uh, great group of people. Um, a lot of people who know games, they've been playing stuff, so I got to actually socialize, talk, shop about games, um, so like I've been playing Small World there, I got to play Catan this past week, Seven Wonders is a big one, it's a nice warm up game, it seems like for everybody, um, they're actually a big fan of the Cryptozoic uh, Penny Arcade deck building game, um, so hopefully that'll keep being a thing, and uh, maybe I'll switch this to be on Sundays, because that just maybe even make us, or maybe even make another segment on it, I don't know. We'll have to see, because uh, I have launched Mindful Mondays and Thoughtful Thursdays now, where now that I'm writing topics down, they're stacking up. So I, I've actually got topics for at least another month or two, um, and they're just going to keep stacking up as long as I remember to write them down, which was the problem with doing the random release videos that I kind of used to do. Um, once I got into all these schedule slash obligation videos, it was not the easiest to try to remember to just, hey, I had a thought about this thing, let me talk about it. So now, if I kind of schedule it out and just whenever I have something like that, I'll do it up. I'll do it for the following Thursday. I'm not saying that there always will be super relevant. Some may or may not be, but uh, the ones that are, and if I really feel it's pressing, I'll jump it in the schedule and I'll film it up and I'll, I'll release it on the following Thursday. I think that's just how I need to do it to keep it going, so we'll see how consistent Thoughtful Thursday goes, but I want to keep Mindful Mondays going, because just taking a word uh, and talking about the importance of it, especially how it applies to me, I really like that. I, I think that's a good idea. Uh, apparently, I've gotten a, a little bit of feedback um, that people like it, uh, so hopefully it'll uh, be something that sticks around. Um, the gaming division is lacking regular scheduling, but we are playing games pretty much at least once a week at this point, so something is going up there. Um, I've actually got to put one up from last week. <laughs> it's just, so it's going to be the launch of Let's Fail um, with Dungeon Defenders. I, I played a Summoner, I think, is my problem, and um, Sid hadn't played it in a little bit because I don't know. <laughs> but I think if I switch back to like a wizard or like an archery character, something that's not summoning other units, uh, I think I'll be able to handle it fine and then maybe we can actually get through around because it looks like a really fun game uh, if you can get through it. The other thing I want to address is I had kind of a weird day with acknowledgements. Um, I stopped talking talk to my neighbors for a little bit, and we had like a really nice conversation, uh, talking about uh, even religion a little bit, and we got into like Avatar, and um, we just had this nice little acknowledgement. We were like, "Hey, we really like you," and like I was like, "I really like you," and I just took me and I was like, "I can't process the appreciation. <laughs> like I gotta go to work." Um, and then like I was at uh, lunch because I walked to. A restaurant, and um, there are a couple of cute girls there that embarrass me occasionally. And one of them today was like, "Oh, it's always better when you come in." I'm like, "Ah!" Oh, oh, oh. I literally like just did this. I wanted to lay on the floor. I don't know what my problem is. Uh, maybe I'm just at a point in my life I can't believe anything nice anyone has to say about me, especially pretty girls. Uh, because honestly, it's just one of those things where. Like, I don't get starstruck. I talked to Bernie Burns at VidCon. I was like, hey, you're an inspiration, role model, whatever. Uh, if I was going to make a tea party list for people I had a tea party with when I'm dead, he'd probably go on there because he did pretty much what I want to do in a slightly different industry business-wise. Um, so he would be there for that. And then, oh my gosh, but like, I about had a heart attack and died with Christina Horner and Tara Theodorus around, and then uh, next week we go to RTX, and Barbara's around, um, which I didn't actually get to meet her, and then, like, it's one thing to, like, be prepared and be like, hey, I'm going to go see these, hopefully I'll get to talk to them, and then I'm getting worked up just thinking about it, uh, and then to discover somebody, 
like that. You don't know they exist, and all of a sudden you're like, oh my god, you're so pretty, beautiful, wonderful. Because uh, it's one thing when like you meet someone who's hot, and they turn out to be a total bitch, or dick, or whatever adjective you want to throw there. Um, you're like, okay, yeah, whatever. I'm glad you got that going on for you. And you meet somebody, and you, you get to hear them talk uh, about what they do, and you see their personality, and it's like, oh, wow, you really hit it across the board. Um, so, like, I, I get Twitter-painted occasionally when, like, things like that happen. Um, I, I, I met Zombie. She's one of the weird girls uh, there at RTX, sort of. And then, um, like, so anytime like, I have stupid web interactions, um, she messaged, or I messaged her and I actually got a reply uh, <laughs> about something. Just stupid 808 goes off. I just get a wash. It's so ridiculous. It really is. It's like I'm a 12-year-old fangirl, uh, and it's ridiculous. Um, and it doesn't happen with everyone, because uh, there was actually, like, uh, on Twitter, uh, I messaged this one porn star that I, I happen to know, not like in real life, but like of her, and I was, no thing, no thing at all. Even if she had replied back, I would have been like, oh, cool, she replied back. But, like, uh, Amber Rang recently got her cast off, and I was like, see, everything's better naked. Uh, and she favored it, and I because <laughs> I'm retarded. I don't know what my problem is. I mean, I, I hit up America Young. I've, I've got replies back from her, um, Rachel Bloom. It's ridiculous that I have this differentiation between celebrity-type people and celebrity-type people that I'd be attracted to. And what's more, the people that I'm attracted to in these scenarios are people that I actually admire and actually be friends with. They're not like, oh, you're so hot, and that's it. It's the whole culmination of them as a concept that really gets me going. And I get that same thing going with guys. Be like, oh, you're fucking awesome. I'd love to like hang out and like we can do stuff and play games and uh, yeah. But like, I don't know because. <sighs> the biology in my brain is set to these settings, like, I don't have <laughs> the instinct to stop myself uh, from being impressive <laughs> uh, around the guys, and I don't, I, I don't know what that is, uh, but that was a way too uh, embarrassing and personal and cover touchy subjects. So, we're all good here <laughs> on Inappropriate for All Ages. So happy, so happy I could put that on the internet. Gamebox has been in a holding pattern because, well, first vacation and then vacation footage, and I finally figured out what was actually the problem, is the number of files. It looks like Sony Vegas reserves a certain amount of space in the RAM per file, regardless of how big the file is. So if you have too many files, it doesn't know what to do with it because it has to use up your, your RAM or process this uh, file surrogate I.O. disk. Uh, it's a virtual disk in your computer computer system, um, so it'll actually blank out things as the, the data fluctuates if you have too many files or whatnot. Because I had to do like a five minute video or something, and it was still giving me because I was cutting off like bits and chunks from all of these other videos. So as I'm learning that, I'm being able to cut it down, I'm being able to manage it a little better, so I actually know what to do. And so. There might be a weird quality difference, but I'm going to patch them into, like, I think it's about eight different videos, and then I'm going to render all that together, and that'll be Disneyland. Um, and then the King Doc Tom tour will be a completely different mess, because I have pictures, and i got to do narration. Uh, there's some video footage, especially of the, uh, the Silicon Valley Hills that are out there, really pretty. You've never taken that drive from uh, L.A. to uh, San Francisco. Definitely worth it. Uh, I'll say that now. Uh, but you'll see the rest. I'll talk about the rest later uh, as much as I could. Um, but I, I can see Gamebox in the horizon. I touched it a couple times. Uh, I've worked on uh, the game. I mean, actually in development. I'm actually developing uh, right now, uh, there's a program I need to find the permutations 
uh, of the different card sets. So that's what I've been working on, and I tried a couple things, but it ran for a week and it got about a quarter of the way through. So I wanted to try something that was a little faster. And um, I, I touch on everything. I really hope I did. Uh, if not, there's always next week. That's it for me. I'm Camera. If you don't like me, bite me. If you want to see anything else we're up to, go ahead and click the annotations and they'll take you to our other channels.